Ladies and gentlemen, we're back again with another episode of REOP. Tonight, we're joined by a special lady. And in a moment, I'll allow her to introduce herself. (laughs) But for right now, I just want to say this podcast is brought to you by the NBN Association. Non broke niggas. Non broke niggas. If you're on the, if you ain't on the Patreon, get your motherfucking money up. Yes, sir. Patreon.com slash REO podcast. podcast. Sign up. Get that exclusive content. Get that exclusive merch. All that shit. Bonus episodes. Talk all kind me. of shit, man. Now, right, round of applause, before we get to our guests, round of applause for our cameraman on the side. Justin. Oh yeah. This Justin, we got Justin on the camera. I'm glad you followed that up because I was gonna <laughs> give myself the green man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, now yeah, back to our guests. I know she <laughs> like, hey, niggas hurry up. <laughs> I know they ain't bring me here for nothing. Go ahead, <laughs> introduce yourself. My name is Heaven. Mm-mm. Instagram Heaven Swirl One Hundred One. What's your name? Dion Heaven. Oh, Heaven! You don't like Heaven? Like you? Like that's a fire name. Her name Dion Heaven. All right, man, you <laughs> being you being that guy right now. Her it's name is Dion Heaven, but she I said go by the Heaven. niggas Dion Heaven. I was I, I was about to borrow her up, bro. <laughs> All right, I'm about to hit that trick, Daddy. But in a second, you keep, All right. you're asking for it. All right, All right go ahead, Miss Heaven. My name is Dion Heaven, but I go by Heaven. No, no, no. You, you Heaven. I like Heaven. Yeah, you Heaven. It fits heaven. me. Yeah. Yeah. It fits me. Continue telling them about yourself. What else do you, you know, let, tell the people what you do. Um, I'm an entrepreneur, a serial entrepreneur. I sell lingerie. I host. I do promotion. I work. I have a career job as well. Yeah. Oh, she do a lot of shit. I'm telling you. So you do. You got your. You got your business. What's the name of your business? Heaven Dion. Heaven Dion. You got your business. You host. I host. What else you do again? I work. You work. So I work. I have a career job. Okay. I work at one of the biggest hospitals. Okay. Um, don't don't say the hospital. Yeah, I'm not say, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. want no weirdos. Yeah. Gig. I'm, we not gonna, I'm not gonna say the hospital. Yeah, we got a couple um, of weirdos listening. Nico, <laughs> <laughs> we, got some, we got some weirdos listening to our show, and I don't want them coming up there. I don't want to kill nobody. Yeah. I mean, hurt nobody. Hey, matter of uh, fact, real quick, when you say a serial entrepreneur, that made me think you'll kill somebody for your grind. That's a, that's some fire shit. That's the name yeah. of the episode. Matter of fact, yeah, 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 I might have to take that on. <laughs> Like so. I'm a serial entrepreneur. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have multiple things. I be wearing that Jason jumpsuit. You know what I'm saying? The full overalls. The monkey suit. Yeah. Let them know. Full dicky dying. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna play with you. Hey, I'm a serial entrepreneur. <laughs> for now, y'all niggas try me and I know something. <laughs> Let that invoice come late. Yeah. I'm gonna be at your address, nigga. I got that. I'm gonna put a Jason noise right here. I ain't got no soundboard. <laughs> Right. That, that was the sound too. <laughs> that's definitely uh, the sound. I think, I think that nigga was doing uh, what you call it. All right, he doing no, off the movie. That's what it is. <laughs> no, nah, he was doing a Roddy Rich. <laughs> no, that's what box. it was from the movie. <laughs> the box. That's what that nigga. Was doing. <laughs> he hating. He hating. I was talking about some of your businesses and shit. Let's get into it. All right. Uh, which one you want to start with? She got uh, some. She got so many. She had yeah, to stop. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey. We can talk about the lingerie. Right. Let's talk about the lingerie. That's my about latest it. one. So, okay. Yeah. So I sell lingerie, um, and I call it luxury lingerie because it's not just normal lingerie. Mm-hmm. Um, oftentimes, people hear lingerie, they think about just wearing lingerie for your man, but it's not just for your man. Like it's for you if you feel down, if you're having a bad day. Um, just for you to feel sexy if you're not doing anything you could just put it on so it's not just for your man your man is a plus it's more so for yourself that self-care that self-love type of thing um and i wanted to be i wanted it to be luxury and not just regular lingerie because you can get regular lingerie from anywhere Mm -hmm. so 
Um, that was the reason behind that. And I named it that because I love lingerie. I wear lingerie. So it just made more sense to name my brand after me. So. All right. It. Sorry. So with your brand and what I doing selling the lingerie, do you get like any kind of misconceptions with your brand? All the time. Like people, it opens the window for people to like judge me and talk about me. They always say like, oh, I'm just trying to show my body. Or they'll be like, they just think that this is just all I do. Like, I'm mm. just getting on Instagram, showing my ass, showing my titties. Like, it's not the easiest thing, but I do it because I'm the best to do it. But I would like if, like, I had someone else to, like, model it for me so I can kind of, like, fall in the cut a little bit. Yeah. And do it every now and again, you know. But definitely people get the wrong idea of me. Well, shit, even Rihanna with her shit, she, she be worried. She be showing all the time. It they don't yeah. ever say nothing about her. Rihanna got be. that whole stomach out. Yeah. Still, still sexy. <laughs> pregnant and all. <laughs> still showing. And it. I'm not pregnant, and I right, got right. something to say. So, right. <laughs> yeah. Rihanna so. be saying, "You gonna look at these titties, regardless. You gonna look at this ass, regardless." <laughs> sitting, I be like, "Hell yeah!" Yeah. That's what she said. All right. That's what Rihanna said to you. Yeah. That was, I, 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 that's what I heard. Get out of here. You gonna be hearing that through your TV? Nah, Rihanna <laughs> never spoke to me through my TV. Oh shit! You need to buy uh, a new TV. You got the freak bull TV. <laughs> anyway, so all right, so let me let me figure out how I'm gonna approach this question. So, which you, you had you model your laundry and whatnot? Did you have any like pushback before you did it? Like, damn, I don't want to be just showing my body like this, but fuck it. Well, before I started selling laundry, I was selling garments for women that. Um, just got their body did. Okay. So this was like in twenty, the peak of twenty nineteen. So people was like getting their body just done, but not really like how they doing right now. They wasn't doing it then. So I was selling like fajas, waist trainers. So I would always wear it like on myself. But when I transitioned over to lingerie, it was kind of like I'm already like always half naked because I was like working in the strip <laughs> club already, like and I was a like a bartender, a bottle girl once. Cause so I already had like two pieces on with like like fishnets and stuff so it wasn't a moment that I didn't feel like I couldn't do it I just was like they already got this narrative about me like and it works for me like showing my body works for me like so right. you got to do what work for you but then sometimes I'll be having feelings like I don't want to do it no more because they always trying to judge me and stuff like they always got something negative to say about me like no matter what I do so sometimes I guess to answer the question sometimes do you feel like if you stepped away from modeling it as much yourself that that your fans or those who support you might might feel away? I feel like the people that like know me know me and like them been down with me, I feel like they'll be let down because they always like fuck them people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Do what works for you. If this your business, do it. Who cares what people got to say? Like right. if this your business is successful, like keep doing it. But I also feel like anytime I've had, like I've had potential people like wear my stuff for me. We promote it, we push it, and it's okay. But nobody gonna go hard for your brand how you will. But if I get on there and I post me in it, I get four, five sales, you know, I'm pushing it. Like, but I'm going hard for my business because it's my business, you know. But they support when they see me. Like, when they see me put it on, I could be just like in the mirror or whatever I'm doing when I did a photo shoot with Terrence Amon. Like they went crazy. We did it at the selfie room. They went crazy. Like, but they also it was me, you know. So it worked for me. So I don't want to stop doing it, but you know. I hear that. All right. So what you? So what's the what's the reason you think people don't want to like other people don't want to model you, you? You would think like, hey, I give you some lingerie and shit. Post it. Yeah, Why that's you my thought process on it. Like, I don't mind doing the leg work. I'll get out there and do the lead work. I don't mind finding girls, recruiting girls. I don't mind doing that. But me giving you a free item and you wearing it, and all you got to do is post it, make right. sure your hair done, you know, you cute, regular. That's so easy. If that was the rules, like, if it was reversed and somebody asked me to do that, no problem, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make right. sure I tag you. I'm going to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm doing my big one, you know, because you're giving me an opportunity. You don't know who on my news feed. You don't know who I know. But... When I'm looking for girls, they just, and they're the ones that got the bodies done. They got the big cities. They got the flat stomachs. Like, but again, I just be feeling like, you know, ain't nobody going to go, go go hard. Like, I'm going to go hard for mine. And it's just hard finding people. Like, you know, it's just 
hard. It shouldn't yeah. be that hard, but it's hard. Yeah, I be telling Joe that all the time. Like nobody's gonna fuck with your brand. Nobody gonna see the vision like you see the vision. Okay. But right. you would think with seeing, you would think with um, with with getting like free stuff and whatnot, then like. Yeah, but it's free. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So they don't care. It's free. Why would I like? Yeah. Why would I? Why would I? Why would they care? They don't care. It's free. But if you pay for it, like you paid that forty, you paid that fifty, mm-hmm. or that forty nine ninety nine, like you may value it a little bit more rather than it's just here. You know? Yeah. So I think uh, when it's free, sometimes people get the um, get the notion that they don't have to be pressed for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't have to go out of my way to get it or things of that sort. But it's like, yo, I'm 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 still doing an act of kindness, and at the least. A courtesy of respect would be let me know like for it where you stand or can on you it. Do it. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, can you do it or can you not? Right. Like, if not, I can get that free item to someone else. Right. That's, you know that care or that's willing to do that for me. To for sure. I'm looking for or that picture that I'm looking for. For sure. Um. Nah, I definitely understand that. So, outside of the lingerie, you say you help people to uh, start businesses as well, right? Yeah, I I was doing that like late last year, like. I was on Facebook. I had like my girl who do my flyers for me. Like people was always asking me like, "How you did this? How you did this?" At the time, like, I don't really know what I was doing. Honestly, I didn't know anything about business. Like, but then when people start asking me, I was waited waited till I was a little bit more better than what I was, what I am now. Right. And then like for like forty nine dollars, like I was doing like Zoom calls. Right. With starting up a business, like doing a name. I knew like I used to have a graphic when I was selling the waist trainers in the Fajas. That was like a cartoon character with a waist trainer on. Yeah. But then, like, I took a class and I realized that you can't put that on a t shirt. All right. We're not doing that. These right. It's 2022. So I was able to help, like, out with little things that people helped me with. I wasn't going too deep. In yeah. Business, but I was doing, like, enough, enough to help them. So. I hear that. I hear that. I definitely feel it. Um, And do you still do that today? I have not did. Because, like, I haven't been, like, in a Promoting position it. to where, yeah. like, because I'm, like, in and out. Like, I'll go ghost on Instagram. Like, <laughs> I'll come back. So, it's, like, that's not really, I don't want to promote what I'm really not doing. Like, right, right. So. Nah, I definitely understand that. I definitely understand that. So, how long have you been doing the uh, the lingerie? Um, Like, six months. So, not long. Because, that's again, like, I'm not consistent with it. But that's my fault. I hear that. Uh, and do you do you get your pieces produced or or? Um, I get them from China, so I got okay. a vendor. Yeah. So I just pick what I like. Yeah, that's what's up. Um, and then when you say you off and on or you inconsistent, but you've been doing it for six months, kind of explain that to me. When you, like, how often do you release? So, I release or drop drop new new items. So I was doing it and then I was taking pictures in like my living room because mm-hmm. I got like this long gold, like silver mirror. So I was taking pictures of like in my living room. So then who takes my pictures is Terrence. So Terrence Tyson? Mm-mm, Terrence are mine. Okay. So he takes my pictures. Um, I am be nightlife. So he takes my pictures. So one day he hit me up and was like, them pictures is like fire, but get out that mirror or get out that bathroom because I was taking them in the bathroom, like in the bathroom or the living room. So I had like cute stuff, but I was in my bathroom. It was I needed like professional pictures. Yeah, you can't be in the bathroom. Yeah, but it was be. like raw though. Like the pictures was very good. They was like interested in it, but from like a business perspective, like get out the bathroom, get out the living room, like, and that's what I needed to do. So then around that time, I kind of this was like at the beginning of it. I kind of was like falling off a little bit, listening, getting discouraged. Honestly, I was getting discouraged. People always had something to say about me, so I had stopped doing it. I was barely promoting. I went from promoting like six o'clock in the morning, like all day to like maybe one time a day. Like I just wasn't interested at all. Yeah. And then fast forward, me and him did a photo shoot at the selfie room and we launched before Valentine's Day. And like, it went crazy. Like it went down. That's what's up. So, so now you are gonna be on it, right? I'm on it. Like, I you don't do care it. what people say. Like, there it is. All right. You seem like a very likable person. It sounds like you got a bunch of haters. So why yeah, do you think yeah, you got yeah. these haters out here that just, like, give you issues? Because I don't know if you want to talk about that DM that, that you <laughs> said. The, uh, the green light. The 
Yeah, yeah the green yeah. light. So I think that people don't like what they don't understand. And I feel like sometimes people like you for the way other people love you. So I always been like this known person. Like I've always just been known. I've been a likable person. I can get along with a fish. It don't matter. Um, so you got the people that gravitate to me. You got the people that just, you know. Right, right. I ain't did nothing to you, but you just don't like me. And then sometimes you got it. It could be about these niggas, you know. So it, it's it's a lot that go into it. Um, I used to be a type of person that like, why they don't like me? Like, you know, what I did. But then I realized I really can't please everybody. And it ain't my job. Like, those that fuck with me gonna fuck with me. Those right. that won't, won't. Like, but I got my people, so I'm straight. Um, but I'm just learning, like, I can't please everybody. So I'm really like, who fuck with me is who fuck with me. And who don't, won't. Yeah. And I'm okay with that. I've been, I'm, I'm accepting of that. So it is what it is. What's some of the backlash that you got when you first started doing your, doing what you're doing? The selling the lingerie? Yeah, or anything. Anything in general. I literally can walk out the door and they say something. Like, <laughs> like it, it be, it's, it's really that that deep. And I, what, I mean, what did they be saying? <laughs> they just be having so much to say. Like, you know, earlier I was telling y'all how we did. I just did a shoot too at the Dreamette. And like people was on Twitter saying like, oh, bitches want to be like Instagram models so bad. And I'm just yeah. like, I'm not bothering y'all. Like, why are y'all worried about what I do? Like, I'm just, yeah. So it don't matter what you do. Like, yeah. and again, people hate what they don't understand. Right. And if they could, they could. Right. I mean, if they could, they would. Right, but they right, can't. Yeah. So they ain't. And that's just what it is. Yeah, that's just like some insecurities within yeah. themselves. They know they yeah, can't. Yeah, they cast them. They see you out here. How many followers you got on IG? I'm almost at 10K. I, I should have been further. Had I been doing what I was supposed to shit. do, I would have been further. That's how I feel. So, yeah. You got your 10K. How how long it took you to get that 10K? We just gonna say 10K. See, we know you close. Yeah, because after we leave here, we going up. So let's get it. Um, it took me. I've always, like I said, I've always been known. So I yeah. always like been on Facebook. So I was on Facebook, and then I gravitated to Instagram. Like, but I be on Instagram a lot. I be on Facebook too. But I don't know how long it took. I got you. We're just going to say it took like a, a week. We're just going to say yeah. it. Yeah, she got that 10 <laughs> bucket. <laughs> she bossed up. Um, so that's not your goal, though, right? To be an Instagram model. That's not your intent, right? My, my goal ultimately is just to be successful. That's right, right. Nasty, you just marketing. That's a nasty goal. Yeah, yeah. trust and believe. I was, <laughs> just, just to be an yeah. IG model. <laughs> I saw a video today. Um, someone, This woman was having an incident with a man, and then someone was recording it. She ran up to the camera and was like, I'm already famous on World Star. Put this on World Star. Like, let me tell them, ain't yeah. nobody got money like me and this and that. And I'm like, man, that's not nothing to be. That's nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's nothing. World start a polluted fool's minds. <laughs> yeah, it really did. All right, so let's talk about like the hosting and whatnot. How you okay. get into the hosting? So I get I got into the hosting because when I hang out, I hang out, I have a good time. I recruit all type of girls. I don't even know. You could be walking past me like I'm like, hey, come and look. I turn up <laughs> with me like, and I just show people a good time. So when other people start seeing that. When I first started, I was charging like $150 because I, I didn't know. I didn't know. Like, I fast forward now, I think like, I'm still thinking like I'm charging too low. I need to go up again. Like, but I didn't know then. So then just people would just see me out. And I started building relationships with people, like promoters, like people that own clubs and stuff. That's how I know so many people. And so they started giving me opportunity, having them put you on a flyer. I'm cool with that, you know? And then it just go from there. So it, all it takes is for one person to support you they got a name, so they say who. And then it just go from there. So one person seen me on a flyer. Oh, hey, well, let me get you at this place. Let me get you at this. I'm going to give you a section. I'm going to give you a bottle, you know. A few times I done did some things for free because I get it. The bigger the bigger reward is down the line, so I don't mind doing a few things for free, do what I got to do, you know. It's an opportunity. Let me ask you a question. What is that? Cause I, don't be, I don't go to the club at yeah. all. At all. Yeah. So when I see hosting, I be seeing like Ari. What's her chick name? Ari. Yeah, thing. Ari. She do it, and like I just be seeing like people videos, like people pay like a, a certain cover to get in the club. Mm -hmm. They pay like twenty dollars mm -hmm. just to sit and watch her on stage. Turn up, have a good time. Yeah. Dr let girls drive the boat. And yeah, that's exactly. The, that's 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 what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. 
And also, too, I feel like promoters get, like, girls that's popping right now or known that, you know, turn up, have a good time, feel like they can, whatever females that they know that the niggas going to come to. Do so you, if I put her on a fly and I know she been turning Instagram up, giving Instagram controversy all week with her laundry, right, doing thirst traps, I'm going to go ahead and get her at my club on Friday because I know about 40 of them niggas come there to want to see her and they're going to talk to her, get her number. Right. Be with her, so let me get what worked. Like, let me throw on that fire. So, do you have? Do. do you have a like? Do you have to work the crowd basically? Yeah, uh, I don't those like situations? move out my like. I'll walk. I've walked around, but it ain't like to the point where like, oh, I got like, secu- like ain't nothing like that. Like, I right. had a hosting um at cocktails maybe like what it was like a month ago for um someone's birthday. So when it's like at a strip club, I still charge them, and then I also throw money on them because it's their birthday and they're a dancer so right. I gotta show love back I had to get a love back so um I ain't got it to the point where I feel like I need like security or like I'm gonna walk the crowd like I don't right, walk right. it before one or two times but other than that I'm staying in my area in my section and I'm gonna turn up and recruit them this way right right you, know, so. you should stage dive one time like <laughs> <laughs> they might not push nah. me back they might not give me back to me they might <laughs> right, keep me right. out there with them and they take me out I say that could be dangerous I don't know just try it just <laughs> one day just like when you're doing your, your performance or whatever yeah just jump off the stage yeah go with the flow they might catch yeah. you or take me out the door with them. <laughs> All right, now that's that's ridiculous. That that's ridiculous. Nah. They may do that. People, <laughs> people was, do not do that. They may do that. <laughs> that could be that's dangerous. The girl that be, uh, let me take her. Like, yeah, yeah. Let me out the club. Uh, what I'm gonna do then? Yeah, it'd be hard to see in the dog. Yeah, I don't know who you is. Uh, I'm in your uh, arms. Uh, it's done. <laughs> yeah, let me give you some security. Knife. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I haven't thought about. It. Security. I know a few security guards that I don't build like the relationships where they see right, me out. Right. They make sure I'm okay. I know they'll always do like yeah. you know whatever for me, but I haven't like thought about it because I want to do more hostings. Not in Jacksonville. I'm bigger than that. Yeah. Like I don't just think about hostings here. I love it here. I'm, I'm glad I get the opportunity here, but I'll be for needing them. You said you hate Jacksonville. Well, I'm saying I hate like uh, you know what I was saying. Yeah, I'm fuck with. You. I hate them people. I told um, her don't do that on the podcast. Yeah, he did. See how don't I, do I look that. that. On the podcast, I look like. that. I'm snitching. Yeah, she, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you done <laughs> bowled under the bus. <laughs> so where do you where where like I right, so where did, where are some of the places? Lord, I'm stumbling all over my words. I That's mean, wrong. That's that weed. Um, Put that right, shit down. Nah, all right. Put it down. Um where are some of the places? <laughs> where are some of the places I that don't uh, smoke. I don't Good. smoke. I devil. drink. I drink. It's the, good. It's the devil. And I smoke hookah. Oh, who? Yeah, I can't Y'all ain't got a hookah? Hell no. <laughs> a waste of time. You're not a waste Rican. of money. Yeah, I don't know. Puerto Rican? <laughs> <laughs> I like hookah. Uh, he is Dominican, but we I got chill out. <laughs> I'm telling all the business. He look, don't he look Dominican? You do. You do. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you set that up, bro, to get the answer that you wanted. But, you okay. going, bro. What you was uh, saying? <laughs> um, where are some of the places that you like to network? Like Atlanta, Miami. So I would like to network. I want to go to Houston. Okay, Houston okay. like the Black Haven right now. Yeah, I wouldn't mind like networking in Atlanta. I haven't networked in Atlanta. Um, I feel like Miami is my vibe, one hundred and ten percent. That's my vibe over there. Like yeah. nightlife, my vibe, just that vibe. Them type of people. So. Um, but again, I'm willing to. No matter where I'm at, I, I could be in. Columbia, Canada, it don't matter. <laughs> um, um, uh, opportunity always somewhere. That door always open for that. So. I heard that. All right, let's get back to the lingerie. So we got a okay. bunch of women listeners. Like, what's some of the prices you got? And like, what do you got on your website? Yeah. So on my website, I got the lingerie. And so I, when starting the business, I wanted to, it to be affordable. Like, because mm-hmm. when you hear luxury, you think of luxury things. But I also wanted it to be for the people that not used to the luxury that they think um sometimes you hear like luxury you may think of something that's like i don't know a thousand dollars two thousand dollars all right but in this case i wanted the lingerie to still be luxury but affordable so the highest thing i've ever had was maybe 55 dollars, and that was for a robe that was like to your ankles yeah um and then the least expensive thing i've ever had was like 25 dollars. but i got a new item dropping in like a month maybe or so 
it's gonna be fifteen dollars, and I feel like the girls gonna really love that. They can relate to that. They don't. They could just wear it, just wear it any day. They can wear it to work if they want to. So, yeah. It, wait, well, it's like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's that type of vibe. That's the vibe we giving. Like, cause I gotta come different. I gotta come harder. Like, it's it's different. So. Like heaven, I wore some of your lingerie to work today. Hey. I need a yeah. job now. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I got fired. Yeah. I got fired. Can I work for you? <laughs> Obviously, open I was clothes. like, hey, I don't uh, know how that's gonna work, but <laughs> yeah. be attracting too much attention. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, what's some of the issues you think with like other laundry companies, like even the big ones, the small ones? You saying issues as in like what? Like what makes yours different from theirs? Pretty much. Also, I definitely feel like the price mm -hmm. because I love Victoria's Secret before I even thought about ever selling laundry. I was wearing Victoria's Secret. You know, right. um, but they're pricey. But you get what you pay for, so it's understood. You get for, you get something for twenty dollars. You you about gonna expect a twenty dollar material. Um, but mine's separation. The name I feel like itself, cause it's my it's my name. So, but I feel like the quality and just what I'm offering. And yeah. The meaning behind. That's what I think. They fix that cord. I think that's what it is. Just pull it a little tighter. Oh, okay. There you go. Technical difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> um, but nah, I definitely get that. Um, so when you talk about like quality, what are some things that uh that they can expect from your brand? Um, so it's three pieces. And then I sell robes. Mm -hmm. So um, the quality is good quality. It's long lasting. Some women wear their lingerie multiple times. Me personally, I'm wearing it one time and it's, it's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's one and done. It's done. It's one, it's one and one. It's done. Yeah. That's me personally. Okay. You got some women that wear it two, three times. I'm just not that person, you know? Right. I want that luxury feeling one time because I'm not going to get it again. I don't feel like, you know, I need to put something else on it and wear it again. Yeah, that's pretty regular, Joe. Yeah. When you, when your when your ladies wear the lingerie for you, you only see it one time. Yeah, yeah. I guess I never really thought about it. Yeah, you see that shit yeah. one time yeah, for that yeah, occasion. Yeah. And then it's like, like you don't already see me in it, and it's like. I yeah, it's not surprising it. the it's second time. It's not really time. surprising because you had so, yeah, a red one on before. That makes sense. Yeah. I so never put two and two the thing. Yeah, after yeah. the third time, you're like, all right. I used to think I was attentive. After the third time, you're like, all right, that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. I'm tired of seeing that. All right, stop it. I'm tired of seeing that. Put that away, man. <laughs> it has a hole in it. <laughs> All right. You got the yeah. bra too tight. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you only see the shit one time, so that makes sense. But like, a lot of people never really thought about that. You only see it one time, and that's it. Yeah, I never thought about it, like I yeah. say. So we never going to talk about that fight? That fight. That mm. fight. Mm. We'll move on. We can talk about it. Talk about it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. So you sent us a interesting DM. You tell us about your story. I looked at your IG. Mm -hmm. You had uh you had one video. You was talking about how uh the business made you depressed and whatnot. And nobody ever asked you. Oh, that real your, I did. Yeah, the yeah. real. Yeah, yeah. That was a real transparent moment. That was something that I did one take on that. Like I did, literally did the voiceover. I did. This, I did this, put the pictures in it. I did the voice. I added the song. Did the voiceover. Literally, it took one time because I didn't want it to be fabricated. I didn't want it to be something I studied. It was exactly what I said is exactly at that moment what I felt. So some people thought like, "Oh, you telling your business?" Like, no, that was me being a transparent moment as a as a human, yeah. as a entrepreneur, as a person that real deal go through things. Somebody I'm getting on Instagram really telling y'all, you know. People ask you if you're okay. This is what real people go through. You know, yeah. you, you nobody you ever tell the full yeah. story. They never because right. it's hard. It's harder to get on Instagram and say I don't went through this financially. I don't. I don't lost this. I just went through this with my with a sibling or whatever the case may be. I ain't had no clients in, in a month of Sundays or whatever. But people ask you like, hey, how you feeling? And you say I'm okay, not knowing like you had a mental breakdown yesterday. So yeah. in that real, you know, I said, you know, oftentimes people ask me how I'm doing. I say I'm okay. What I really wanted to say was I'm getting backlash. I'm depressed. You know, I'm, 
I'm trying to I'm trying to stay sane. Yeah, when you know? people ask if you're so, okay, they don't really mean it. Also. Yeah, are you okay? But yeah. I wanted to let people know, like, this is what I'm going through. And I kept it up. I ain't take it down because I ain't care what people thought thought it was. I knew what it was, you know. I wanted, I want to be able to cater to any type of follower. You get on there, you can relate to that. Because I'm pretty sure another entrepreneur got on there like, damn. Oh, yeah, she I'm said the same that. Yeah. That's okay to say. Let me say that. You know, let me let me let me be a little more honest in my post. Let me maybe let me reach out to her. Right. Like you know, it's hard so to be vulnerable. It's hard. It I, it's hard. Like that was a oh I said it took me one take to do. Right. Like, and if it in the end of the video I kind of was stuttering because yeah. you know but I wanted that to be that moment for me and so. You were stuttering like he was just. Yeah, I was. I was stuttering at the end. Of that, <laughs> the, maybe need to add go. a clip. Like I was. <laughs> you ain't gonna let I it go. Stuttering. Hey, bro, you got it, man. Hey, you know stressed. Joe got that song now. <laughs> what song? Stuttering. Come on, man. Don't oh, make me do it. Go ahead, hit the, hit the don't, trick. Don't make me do it. Hit the man. trick, daddy. Don't black, make man. me do it, man. Hit the trick, right. daddy. Black, man. Green ass nigga. That's the only one. Yeah, right. that's the only one. I think I was out for a mission. I was thinking about it earlier that we ain't heard that button in a in a little minute. So. That might have been a, a premonition earlier, but um, nah. So I think that's dope. Um, when you're when you're when you're vulnerable like that, right? Mm -hmm. Do you get a lot more engagement, or what would you say? So when I'm being myself, mm -hmm. my my true authentic self, people fuck with me harder, you know. Cause I'm being honest. Like, if I'm not feeling as positive, I'm not posting nothing on Instagram. I right. literally, like I said earlier, like I'll go ghost. Yeah. You know? Because I'm just not feeling it. I don't want to post a positive post. Because what if I'm not feeling positive? What if I'm actually feeling like shit? Like, right. what if I'm just not myself? Yeah. I don't want to get on there and, and act like I'm preaching because I'm not up to it. I'm, I'm actually feeling sad. You yeah. know. So I'm learning just to be my true authentic self. I say what I feel. If you don't like it, you can really unfollow me, you know? Yeah. So when I learned to just be like who I am, my true authentic self, more people gravitated to me. And I'm cool with that because yeah. they understand me more, you know? That's so real. People want to buy into you, true real indeed. you. So um, that's what's been working for me. And, I, and, and I'm doing it. And I'm going to always do it. Yeah. So. I feel that. All right, so let's talk about it. So, you yeah. see, like I said, once again, you seem like a very nice person. You seem like a good person. <laughs> Why would anybody want to harm you? So what happened with that situation? Um, so <laughs> I'm gonna keep asking. I know. Yeah, I was gonna say. Hey, so I'm gonna say this. So I'm gonna say this. Um, I was dealing with a person, right? You can't help who you who, who you like, who you love, right? Right. I was dealing with a person, and I feel like as me dealing with the person when you first meet a person it's all perfect you know it's perfect and down the line things change and the type of city that we live in is very small so girls gonna hate you about these niggas these men yeah. so sometimes it's out of our control um but when i was talking to this person like three years ago um it was like at the peak of me starting my business and I was starting my business. We were talking. Um, an incident occurred to where I was at work in the club. I was um, when I was working at Mascara's. Um, I was working one night, and a girl was in there, and a drink was thrown on me. Um, and with the drink being thrown on me, the fight, fighting occurred. Occurred. occurred I can't talk. <laughs> um, we were fighting. Um, it got real. It got real ugly. Um, it was different. I never experienced nothing like that because I'm not used to people pulling on me, hurting me. You know, right. I, don't, I don't care what it's about. I don't, right. I, don't, I don't like that. I'm not that type. I don't like. I don't, I'll get into that, but I'm not that type of person. I um, did I play my part? I played my part. I'm human. Then the person I am now wouldn't do. I, w I wouldn't do play a hand in that. Um, but I played my part then. Um, in the midst of me. Fighting, getting on Instagram, going live to prove a point to why this fight occurred, defending my name, defending myself, because I felt like it wasn't done. Um, I lost opportunity. I lost jobs because 
it was at the peak of me starting my business. So who wants to work with a person that every time you in a club, you fighting, your name is all on Facebook, you going live screaming, yelling at a phone, like right. looking so stupid. And that's what I was doing. So one day, uh, um, a lady who I know, she older, she hit me up on Messenger, like on Facebook, like, hit me like, you gotta, you better than that. Like you gotta be better than your situation. Like if a person don't see the value in you, the worth in you and got you out here looking crazy when people know you that know you know that's not how you act, you gotta take a step back. So at that time I realized that people did not want to work with me. My stuff was not selling. Like, they didn't care that a month ago I was doing something positive and that I was helping people and that I was being this person to people. They only cared that I was what it looked like fighting over a nigga. And that's what it was, you know. It really was it was about a nigga I own it. But it was also about respect. It was about sometimes, you know, when you younger it's like feeling tried. I was twenty three then I'm twenty five now. I ain't saying that's like the big difference, but the person I am now, I can't see me arguing with nobody. I done elevated too high. Right. But am I human? Yeah. But me arguing, fighting in the club, like, no, that's not gonna happen. Um, so fast forward the situation happened. Like I said, opportunities was lost. The fight happened. Um, it got ugly. For months, it was ugly. Every time I went out somewhere, <laughs> every time they went out, it was, you know, it was something. Um, but then I realized it ain't no winners in this. Like, nobody win. Yeah. Like, nobody win. Like, my life go on. His life gonna go on. Like, some people stay the same, but, you know, I got things to do. Like, you know, so. Yeah. Good that you learned from the situation because, yeah, like you said, it's like it's really not worth it. Yeah. And you did learn a valuable lesson from it. So, yeah, it's not that bad. I'm glad. Yeah. We, when you brought the situation up, I'm pretty sure somebody that listened to it learned, learned yeah. something. Like yeah. all the fighting and all that shit is not worth it. Just yeah, focus on your brain, get your money and whatnot. Yeah. And, yeah, I'm hopping on because I'm pretty sure you hopped on your regular IG. I hopped, like, on, my, I hopped on my Instagram. I hopped on Facebook, like, next morning, how messed up, you know, because you just so enraged. Like, I was so upset. And people that was, like, comment, like, this not you, delete this. Like, you know, but, you know, in the heat of the moment, no, you got to defend yourself. Like, you got you to gotta stand on that. So I was doing that. So not too long ago, like, two weeks ago, I made a post on Facebook. And I was like, because I look back on my memories from that time, it was, like, around the time the fight happened. And I made a post, and I was just like, y'all remember, like, two years ago when I was – on Instagram, on Facebook, like, screaming at the phone, in drama, in confrontation, nobody wanted to work with me. I had, like, 52 comments. People comment, like, I remember. I'm so proud of you. Like, they saying, they they were seeing the good in me when I didn't see the good in myself. Mm-hmm. So I was just having a turn back moment when I made that post, not knowing that post was going to go, like, viral. And then it opened up new opportunities for me. So I was getting inboxes, getting opportunities. So um, soon I'll be speaking at the Boys and Girls Club to younger girls. Right. So let them know, like, don't be that person. Don't be that younger me. Yeah. Don't be that younger me. Like, you got time. Like, and if a man put you in them type of positions or you ever felt that you stuck in them positions, like, it's a better way. Yeah. You know, it's a better way. Like, nobody don't want to work with nobody that's problematic, you know. So, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying, I thought it was a situation <laughs> where I was about to buy something from somebody and it was online just talking – even it, it it sound may it maybe sound fucked up, but they were like they was like they uh they was getting kicked out their crib and whatnot and different yeah. stuff like that. I was like, bro, don't post it. And they posted like on a business page. I like oh, don't wow. post it on a business page. Like keep your personal life like off because yeah. yeah. Granted, you do need the money, but I'm like, nigga, I don't even want to like buy your shit because you might just finesse my money, pay your rent or something. Right. And I think like with my Instagram. <laughs> My, my Heaven's Door 101, that was my personal page. Yeah. But then I turned it to my business page because, well, it's not a business page, but it's like my money page. Like yeah, if that, page, if, yeah. if that, I got a business page for my lingerie to Heaven Dion, but Heaven's Door 101 is how people like get in contact with me. So if that page go down, I'm down. Like I'm down. Like that's why when I'm, when I am feeling away, I give myself a few days, I'll go ghost. But then when I do come back, I got a picture that's going to turn Instagram up. It's going to do that controversy. It's going to do what it need. And then right after that, I'm posting, like, my link. I'm posting, like, y'all follow me. You know what I'm I, it, And it works every time. Like, that's something I've learned that worked for me. So my personal is my business. 
I yeah. think that's why I'm just an open book with it. You got to be careful with like your posts. I'm talking. I've been noticing a lot of women. They've been getting like their IGs and stuff deleted. Like, yeah. Showing too much skin and whatnot. Yeah. So like every time I put something on TikTok with Andre, it get like down. But with Instagram, not really. Like they don't really. They reported a few people pages I know like for their videos, but like my stuff have been reported like not that much. Because it's like me, like I'll post me in it, like I'll post me, like I'm just chilling around the house lounging, and at the bottom I tag like two piece from, three piece from, whatever like that. So yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird because like some women are like they post like a, just a regular picture, they get their shit taken down. Then you see like they be saying like it's for nudity and stuff, and I'm just yeah. like I'm working, man. I ain't working. And you ever seen one of them pages where like one of them freaky ass niggas? I got it, and he just be having like a bunch of women just butt ass naked on his shit. I'm like, how's that shit still? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I be on TikTok seeing stuff, and I'm just like. How is their stuff still on there? But then I'll do like a slide show, yeah, and like they take me down. Like I just don't get TikTok it. the dumbest shit ever. Like That's crazy. it was a clip that I had, and I had posted it in our podcast group chat, and I posted it. It got taken down, but then our producer posted it, and then like it's still up. But I was like, it's the exact same video. Yeah. yeah. So I don't, I don't know. TikTok. They just TikTok do what they want to do. He light skin also, so they probably think he's a white man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shit, racist man. Got any more questions, Cold Man? Man, I'm, 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 I told y'all beforehand, man. It's chilly in here, um, but uh, nah. Let's get to this, uh, to these voicemails. Yeah, sorry, Heaven. You got a lot going on. We appreciate you. We're gonna keep the podcast going. Though. Okay. So, but yeah, you got a lot we're going gonna get on. Get your take on some on a few on a few topics tonight. Okay. All right. So first, we're gonna do voicemail. The Senate voicemails. Hit us up four two four two six zero. R-E-O-P, 424-260-R-E-O-P. So usually I proof listen to the voicemails. I ain't listen to this one. So I don't know what the hell this talking about. I don't even know <laughs> who this is from. So okay. let's get into it. <laughs> oh, Lord. My name is Durante. Durante. Right on the pie. Subscribe to y'all as D. I'm from Gonzales, Louisiana. Shout out to D. And my question is, where did you first hear the term free whoever until it's backwards? I've been trying to like find out like what the origins of this was. Like one day out the blue, I just started hearing people say that, but I couldn't <laughs> figure out like the first person I knew or the first time I heard, first time I heard the term. If y'all know, can you like let me know like where, where the first time you heard it or the origins of it? Shout out to y'all. I right, appreciate that, D. Um, origins of free blank until it's backwards. I remember hearing it just in passing, but I can't tell you. I want to say when. Hmm. I I don't know. I I, I don't know. It might have been free. It might have been Gucci or something like Gucci or Boosie. I don't know that many people in jail, so I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't yeah, me neither. Free. So, I don't know. Only person I know I in jail know. is my uncle. He, he deserved to be there. But anyway, um, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't oh, know. About, I hate that we I'm can't sorry, D. There, yeah. I don't know about that one. I don't know I about say, that one. I want to say maybe it was just like one of them like internet things like people just do. Or maybe like somebody go to jail and then you like freedom. Like You know they're not getting out, but freedom. Like Yeah, it might just be. I don't know, D, about that one. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, man. That, that's a good one. That was I, a good one. D. I'm gonna have to sleep on that one. Paper or something. But I'm saying because yeah, I want to say it. maybe it came like from. Gu- I think it came from Gucci, right? Like maybe when Gucci was locked up. Cause free, they free Gucci till it's backwards. Yeah, I don't even got don't a ring know. to it, bro. None of them have a ring to it. It's just something they say. I've like, heard like free who matters. You know, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Sometimes I I just take it with a grain of salt because sometimes they be free and they be want people free like. Nah, maybe he probably should yeah. sit down just for a little bit. I'm gonna tell you, free him eventually. Story, man. Um, this was years ago when they let Penn C out, right? Mm-hmm. I was in my teens, early teens, and uh, I'm playing Monopoly at a friend's house with a couple of homies, right? And uh, in the middle of it, a nigga roll go to jail, right? So as he's tapping away, he's like. Man, it's, it's it's pretty cool what they did for Pimp C. I'm like, what you talking about? <laughs> they let him out of jail. I was like, yeah. I mean, he he served his time. 
He was like, nah, they had to. Like, what do you mean? Yeah. He was like, they let him out of jail because everybody kept saying free pimp C. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been looking at him so crazy. Man, I almost <laughs> fucked the whole Monopoly board up <laughs> trying to be, try to educate this dumbass nigga in the moment. Him, like, yeah. nah, you should have let his dumbass. Yeah, hey, I, you just let him have. Yeah, yeah. I would nah, yeah, I yeah. laughed. I laughed. I honestly, I honestly laughed probably for like 30, 45 minutes every time. A nigga passed the jail. Every time a nigga rolled jail, got out of jail for free. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you laughing, but I think like people like hopping on the free Kodak <laughs> train and all that. I yeah. think that's what got him out. All right, man. Next topic. What am I saying? Sorry, that, D. We couldn't help. What you am on I that saying? One? That's I crazy. Know. I feel like niggas hopping on the, on Twitter saying free Kodak. You think Trump, that's what's doing it? Trump seen them tweets. Trump seen them. Could Trump free them? How else Trump knew? Exactly. You, uh, Trump you see that? Trump, I don't know, man. Trump seen, hey, Trump seen that hat. Add that to your conspiracy it. list, man. I'm going to do a whole episode. <laughs> Add that to your conspiracy list. Because if you validate that, I mean, literally, I give my homie his props. Literally, he didn't, <laughs> he didn't free him until like, Lamar Jackson <laughs> hopped on Twitter. He was like, free Kodak. And it was like, free <laughs> They were tweeting Trump and whatnot. Right. Trump right. seen them tweets and freed them. Huh? Hmm? Yeah, same thing happened by ASAP Rocky, man. I would be he seen no tweets about ASAP Rocky. I hear you. So why it ain't happening for Brittany you, Griner? You, first of all, Trump not in office. Oh, true indeed, but true enough. I still I I still think So Biden, you saying it's just Trump that was doing this. First of all, Biden ain't even alive no more. I think he died like three months ago, and they just got. I'm joking. I'm joking. Y'all. I'm joking. Y'all. I'm joking. Yeah, this nigga for that this whole shit sprayed up. I'm joking. I'm joking. Nigga, open up that door. You know what I'm saying? It just. I'm not a Trump supporter, but if Trump was still in office, Britney would still would be free. Also, also. Oh man, for a second, I, I, y'all oh. forgive me. I'm high. I thought this nigga was talking about Britney Spears. Shut and I was finna say, nigga, her parents got her locked up. I don't care, <laughs> I don't care about no Britney Spears. He is insane. Okay. Okay. I don't care about Britney Spears. Spears. If you y'all see the button. reaction in my face. You didn't, you didn't press that button. Hey, look, nah, he can't press it again now. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Literally. When I when I see it, when I see when I mean when I uh yeah, when I picture her in my head, I was like, oh no, this nigga did. No, I don't care about Britney. Goddamn spit. Also, she yeah. locked up in Russia. Also, so yeah, that, true. There you go. It's but crazy. so much you can do in Russia. Once the Russian motherfuckers got you, it's, it's a wrap for you. That's yeah. Crazy. Putin, 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 Trump ain't playing. Well, hey, uh, him and him and uh, Trump ain't they cool? Not they ain't that cool no more. Oh, uh, he ain't in office. He he can't serve. He owe some money or something. Um, nah. Damn. They just can't service him. But yeah, D, bro, I'm sorry, but sorry, I think D. I think it came from Gucci. Bro. Yeah, sorry, D. All right, so let's get into some of these listening questions. The sending listening questions hit us up at mail at ariopodcast.com. That's mail at ariopodcast.com. Hold on, let me go. I ain't prepared. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Talk about find it. Man, this. All right, so. In the meantime and in between time, yep. uh, before we started recording, Miss Heaven was rapping for us. I asked oh, if she <laughs> wanted. <laughs> I am not a rapper. Man, you ain't got to lie to the people I'm now. I'm not a rapper. I'm not a rapper. All right. Well, y'all see that mixtape drop. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what time it is. You might as well rap. I feel like everybody take that rap. Take that rapper. Person. I would need somebody to like write, up, write it for me. And then I can hop in the studio. He can write for you. Say less. You write music. Yeah. Say less. Write music for me. We go up. We go. Big. What you want to rap about? I don't know. Go ahead and say it. I said something. I know. You don't know. Whatever. Hey. Right. Whatever. What's what's trendy? What's trending? I ain't got no shake your ass, boss. <laughs> <laughs> He said, he said, I ain't getting in, I ain't getting in my little yachty bag. Yeah, nah, I can't. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't get in the little yachty bag. All right, this one from Jamia. She said, rank the top three clubs in Jacksonville that no longer exist. 
never got to experience the fox, but I've always heard things about the fox. I would have liked to experience the fox, but I would say the fox, mascaras. Never got to experience plush. Would love to have experienced plush and plush. So I don't know. I mascaras, have to say plush and the fox. Plush was a motherfucker. Like plush go plush got to be top one, like number one probably, cause plush itself was crazy. Plush was like five clubs. You had Leopard Lounge. You had um, fuck. Uh, I can't even remember, man. I didn't you get had, to go to. So. Yeah, plush had like four or five clubs like connected to each other, and then plush itself was a big ass club. They had a fucking UFC event in there one night. Um, um, so I say plush. I'm probably gonna say, uh, Aqua. Uh, Aqua had I'd some crazy f- fucking nights. I was in Aqua, I had went to Aqua two times. Aqua had the city on lock for a while, and then I'm thinking Bourbon Street. Didn't go to Bourbon Street. Yeah, Bourbon Street was crazy. I didn't get to go there. Bourbon Street was a big ass warehouse. It's the carpet, man. Now. Nah. <laughs> I ain't got none because I never, I don't go to club, so. Yeah. So pure? then what, then would be my, my, my top three. Uh, pure was, pure, pure I, I, I probably went out to Pure once. Uh, pure was cool, you know what I'm saying? It was a great vibe and whatnot, but to me, Aqua, like, Aqua used to have phone parties. Aqua yeah. used to have, like, it was just a heyday of music, you know what I'm saying? How you feel about Leopard Lounge and that? That's how I'm going to feel about mascaras because. Like, that was like around your time, and then right, like right, that's right. the last one that I, the club that I know that's no longer like you know. Yeah, so yeah I feel that's that. crazy. Yeah, but that would be my three. What happened with mascaras? Why they close that down? <laughs> Too much drama. Too much drama. Long story. I don't know, man. It's just certain clubs you just got to keep them shits open. Like the city just got to keep. Nah, them open. long story with that. <laughs> somebody, somebody got to do something. Uh, they tried. They tried. It was a big push. They fought as long as they could. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what, it, it's up to see them go for real. What was your favorite club experience, both of y'all? Ever? Like, what was the best night in the club? Mine's would have to be when Dirk came to Onyx. I was working. Was it the real Dirk or the fake Dirk? It was dirt? the real Dirk. I don't okay. I don't see Dirk two times when he came to Onyx. It's a fake but dirt that last time around. he just he came to Onyx before Onyx closed. That was, I mean, he performed so long that he like talking to his his DJ like they, he repeated the songs. Say so like, that's how you know he performed good. Like, came out his jacket, came out his, like he was like really interacting with the crowd, like with the crowd. He had called Vine, like it was a good, that was a good show for real. Like, yeah. that was one of my best experience. So I was working, but I was hanging out too. So I was like midway drunk, working, <laughs> turned up, got videos of him, videos of me. Like it was a good, a good experience, I, yeah. So I would have to say Dirk and Onyx. I had that. Um, I don't know, man. On the spot, I probably can't think of one experience. Nigga had too many club nights. Uh, shit, one of my best nights, I got shot at. I was a jit. Oh wow! I was a jit, but yo, like no bullshit. That was the craziest night. Like one one of the craziest nights in the club. Like that it that I've ever like experienced. And like I say, I was I was a teenager. Like this, we talk a teenage club, but um. This was back when the city was on fire. Right. Like, oh my God, I was living a different life. They had a shootout in the parking lot. I'm like, yo, this shit crazy. What about that time when your date got beat up? Oh man, that was a hell of a night. Uh, and I was thinking you about had a that. You hell of a night, <laughs> ain't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, damn. Well, <laughs> like, what you say? What? Well, tell the story. Yeah, so uh, I met this chick I was working at uh, Finish Line. She came down from Georgia. Uh, she was stationed up there in like Kings Bay or some shit. So it's like real close, you know. Um, they all happened to be in the mall. I guess her and like a few of her friends of of the platoon, or whatever, right? She said <laughs> so. Um, we exchanged numbers, yada yada. We got plans to link. We gonna meet at the club. Like I was gonna get a hotel for the night. She was like, "Yo, look, I take care of everything." I ain't know she was in the military at first. You know what I'm saying? So, um, we go out to the club. Uh, at first, when I see her, 
she's like uh she she was like texting me and shit let me know when you here let me know when you here i see her and she's uh like dancing and somebody walk up on her she danced for a second and step away she like in her own zone for whatever reason i'm like i ain't gonna i ain't gonna approach her at all like not right now you know what i'm saying so i let her know like yo i'm in the club like i'm in the corner i'll link up with you in a minute you know what i'm saying we can meet by the bar you know what i'm saying um i guess time passed i don't had a couple drinks she had a lot of too drinks. many probably bro because a fight breaks out in the middle of the uh club and this was bourbon street so like the way bourbon street was set up it's a big ass dance floor but it's got two layers that like surround the the dance floor or whatever so when it happened i kind of like pressed up against that wall to where you know it's people above me and shit. um and not even like i'm somewhat in the front of this crowd right but everybody like make this circle so they can fight it's like a very polite fight tonight right one-on-one -on -one, no jumping like it's yeah. just a cool little thing i guess in the sense y'all want to fight do your thing they go do -si do around this circle and you see something fall like a uh, uh, dude through he, he threw this haymaker, threw a haymaker from <laughs> a, from his ankle i mean oh. bro bro swung like this <laughs> damn and when he missed something yeah. something fell and i'm i'm i ain't got the best i ain't got the best of sight but i see something fall from the distance of this circle right i don't pay no mind i take a sip and i keep on keep on you know cha 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 um i get this call like the fight goes on so long they shut the club down right um i get this call back to back to back to back to back she blowing me up and i'm like all right let me answer oh my god <laughs> was it her that fell what was it her well I, like I, I get uh, where you at you know yada yada she out front her friends are literally carrying her side by side you know what i'm saying two one of them got one shoulder the other got the other lifting her out the air um carrying her like paul pierce yeah yeah for real so she got knocked back basically <laughs> man did she they put her in the back seat of a cop car or some shit. and i'm talking to her and she boohoo crying and it's like the eye is swelling right before my eyes and i'm like god damn, damn. <laughs> that shit was bad yeah um she, when i got there she was incoherent I got hit. So did he mean to hit her, or he didn't mean to hit her? Nah, he ain't mean to hit her. He missed the nigga, and she was just standing there, too close, not paying attention, and boom, got hit in the midst of it. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Should have beat that guy up. For sure, Man, that was what? your girlfriend. I didn't know that. <laughs> For one, I didn't know that she got she she got hit until after everything hey, was over. With. Hey, you could have lied. She wasn't paying attention. I beat that. I beat his yeah, ass. Yeah, I would have been like, man, shit. I kicked his ass for you, girl. I just met that. <laughs> I proved my loyalty to you. <laughs> you would have been able to find out. I'm your knight in shining armor. She ain't coherent. Like, yeah, I, beat, I, left I just him. whooped his ass. I yeah. left my cape. I would have had one of the homies like, yeah, pretend you was him or something. I don't know. Like, pretend you was that nigga. Nah, yeah. that's funny hey, as Yeah, he hell. beat me up just now. <laughs> that's funny as hell. That's crazy. Um, Nah. So, um, yeah, nah, that was a crazy night. Um, one of the craziest nights. I. This is probably the craziest night I had. I'm with Wes. I had probably had to have had 10, like, cups of liquor. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's 10. Ridiculous. Jesus. <sighs> you a drinker, ain't you? What? I like and it was like an event it was an event it was like um art walk here but they do gallery night and like theirs is like two blocks nothing but bars mm -hmm. and they serve in damn near pictures so yeah. like so you'll be fucked up soon what i was too fucked up 
long story short i get upstairs like we had we we, we kind of bounced around a few clubs i get up to one we were supposed to go to this after hours club this after hours spot opens at like three or two yeah. one whatever and it don't close till i want to say 5 45. so um we were supposed to go over there it's like 2 30 right in the morning i realized i'm tired I'm 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 like yo I'm ready to go man my homie like yeah me too man we're gonna slide to, to the other spot after this <laughs> I'm like I I don't know he say all right well look I'm gonna go to the bathroom I say cool I'm gonna take a seat I sat down I he fall asleep he leave you nah I wake up I'm throwing up <laughs> over the balcony of the second floor right like it's just rain and puke down on the first floor Jeez. so somebody comes up security comes up and they tap me and they like yo you gotta go brother and i'm like wait 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 my friend you know he in the bathroom i got his cell phone i had to make a call my died yada yada i'm trying to explain myself and shit he like i don't give a fuck like yo we gotta go. <laughs> grab me up and shit um when we get outside um <laughs> when we get outside my cousin just so happens to be walking by damn now at this point i need a ride home you know what i'm saying yeah. i cannot drive i'm i'm really drunk yeah. i can barely tell him that i need a ride home that's how drunk i am he's like all right I, i'll take you home but i gotta find my cousin so <laughs> damn. so he walks away from me never saw him again my friend don't come out the club. He didn't he didn't know. I'm calling who I think is his best friend, you know what I'm saying? Like in the club. Yeah. It turns out it's someone else's grandmother's house. Oh lord. Two 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 o'clock in the morning to four o'clock in the morning, I called someone's grandmother. And when she finally answered, I was like, ma'am, you're not the David I'm looking for. After you don't call that many times. What? I mean, I blew her up like 50 times. Like that was your girlfriend. We all drunk as fuck. So I'm like, maybe I just got to get his attention. I'm yeah, making probably kept this old woman up all night. Man. Oh, what? have mercy. I mean, terrorized her. So I apologize about that. Lord, forgive me. Um, now, I walk around. I'm thinking in my head, I got to get to my car and I can just take a nap. I get to what I think is my car. It's identical. Everything down to the rims, the trim, everything. I put the key in. That shit's not my car. I'm like, oh my God. They done told my shit. They done replaced the locks or something. Uh -huh. I'm making up again all kinds of stories. <laughs> I say, all right, the keys don't work. What I'm going to do? I tried to a couple Shake times. Shake it, yeah. Yeah. All right. I walk around the block. I say, this ain't my car. I just got to find mine. I saw a sticker on the back, right? I circled the same, I, I guess I circled the same block, but I walked like distances. Let's just say I walked in a big square and every time that square got bigger, right? I came back to the same car four times. So eventually I'm like, I'm never going to make it home. My phone died. I got his phone to use um, and I'm tired as fuck, right? Yeah. So I had on a button up shirt. I take that motherfucker off. <laughs> It's burning up, and I got on a tank top. Right, I said, "Yo, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta lay down somewhere." <laughs> I tried to find a safe space. There was none, so I thought, "Well, I'm gonna do what I can." There was this building with the bright light right above this door. And all this happened in one night. In one night. In one night. I mean, I, I walked in that night. I probably walked ten miles. In total, circling that the block. That is insane. Like I, probably, I was, I was on it. I was on it, bro. I was power walking and shit. I got to the point. I, I made myself tired, sleepy. Right. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Jesus. So, I, I took off my button up, and I fluffed that motherfucker into a pillow, and I laid down outside of this door. And I'm looking up at the light. Like, Lord, you're going to save me tonight. So I go to sleep. And I hear this shuffling walking past this couple. Mind you, I'm in a tank top, right? P 
pair of jeans, some hard bottom shoes. Um, this 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 couple is walking past. And I wake up. I had to look like Smeagol from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Help me. My mouth dry as fuck. Help me. Help me. The dude grabbed old girl like he walking he so traffic it. don't don't hit hit her, right? Yeah. He um, aggressively yanks her to the other side. Shuffles past me. They looking at me like I'm crazy as fuck. And at that point, I realized, like, yo, I'm down bad. Every, it's not looking good from yeah. here, right? Yeah. I order an Uber on my man's phone. When the Uber come, I crawled. It was like my legs were paralyzed. I'm G.I. Joe crawling on my stomach in this tank top. Shirt damn near tied around my neck. You know what I'm saying? I'm down this bad. This was a really rough night. It was it was bad. I had too way too much to drink. I was partying like the white boys. Uh I crawled into the Uber. The lady said, Are you okay? I said, No. Get me home. <laughs> I said, Can we stop at a gas station? I, I crawled into the gas station. I ain't crawled, but I walk in. Nah, you crawled. I ain't I ain't yeah, you crawled. crawled for sure. You crawled. When I got in there, the brother said, I mean, I'm walking like drunken monkey style. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm doing the reverse, basically. You know what I mean? Um, brother say, don't slip. I say, nigga, I'm falling. <laughs> I thought that was clever. You know what I'm saying? Because he said, don't slip. I all said, right, keep going with your story. All right. So <laughs> I grabbed like four bottles of water. I poured the first one down, like my entire front trying to drink it you know what i mean in the <laughs> store the nigga needed a mop to clean it up that's how bad it was um i paid for him and i walked out <laughs> did you even drink the water uh-huh did you even drink it probably not it was probably like a bird you know what i mean so it just, you just smashed the bottles across the face <laughs> 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 so the first one just like <laughs> that you know what i'm saying and it was just going bro so he drinking the water like in the desert dog i was dying i was dying and i'm talking like the big two liter zephyr hills you know what i'm saying and you bought four of them four of them bro i'm carrying three of them out like this i as i'm like trying to like chug the last <laughs> little bit of the uh, the last one you know what i mean and i'm talking the last little bit bro the little drops and shit i slam dunk that shit into the trash when i get into the uber she's like um i need a towel <laughs> drive i get home i gotta work at 7 a.m it's now 5 a.m damn <clears throat> my whole family in town i go to um I go to, um, and what's crazy was I had traded cars with someone for the night because, um, what the fuck? Some reason I traded cars with someone for the night. So, like I say, I'm thinking that's their car, right? My mom comes in and they like, yo, don't you got to go to work? Yeah. You need to get up and take a shower. You stink. You smell like liquor, like and and throw up. You know what I mean? Like I, I take a shower. She's like, "Where's the car?" I don't know. You don't know. I'm like, nah. You got to take me back, and we got to search, like a hunt for that shit. It probably took us thirty minutes to find that shit. Mm-hmm. I make it to work. Is liquor just reeking out my pores? I'm like, nigga, I would not have went to work. I, I shouldn't called, have. Yeah, I would have caught us. I shouldn't have. I was doing maintenance for a hotel. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, I think you win the most yeah, craziest yeah. night. Yeah, for sure. I was down bad that night. I said I'd never drink like that ever again. Yeah, you was real down bad. Let's talk about somebody else down bad. Let's get into this nigga Ti Segway. Oh my god! All right. So haven't you been paying attention? Apparently, Ti is like a stand-up comedian now. I heard. All right. So he had two situations back to back. So apparently he was doing like some open mic shit in Atlanta. He got into a situation with a comedian, a female comedian, and uh, he went crazy on her. And then he had another situation. Apparently he did an arena show. Yeah. 
which is kind of ridiculous. Shortly after that. Yeah, I don't think he's just been doing comedy for like, what are you doing, three months? Uh, I want, yeah. I, I, About three months. I want. Yeah. Yeah, it's fairly new. I don't think he need to it's be doing. It's 2022 new. I don't yeah. think he need to be doing arena shows already. No, no. So he no. did an arena show. He got booed. Let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, this first one right here. So this is the one where he got into it with the young lady. I ain't gonna play the whole thing, but some of it. There's no fucking crap. It is nothing to charge me for. Or you know, shut the fuck up for a second. Hey, listen. No, no, no. Because many times you told on that shit, nigga, I'm gonna check your motherfucking ass as long as it takes. Nigga, when you stop talking about it, when you stop playing with me and mine, I'ma stop saying something. Nigga, ain't no motherfucking case. Ain't never been no motherfucking case. Cause I ain't did nothing wrong. And my wife ain't did nothing wrong. And if you keep on playing with me, nigga, I'm gonna motherfucking continue to confront you publicly. I'm not sure why he, even though she brought up his case, I'm not sure why you talking to a woman like that. I don't know, like she's a nigga or something. He, he talking like, yeah, all of it. Just on crime. See, I did it. I truly believe it. Get it up for yeah, me. No I don't want to hear none of that shit. No All right, let's get into her explanation. I think he tried like he tried to hug like he her. Snatched, he, no, he he he. You could tell he tried to shut her up the way he grabbed her. Yeah. All right, let's get into her. Security should have like got in though. I think yeah, it's like somebody should have grabbed him up. I think it's like one of them situations where like it's Ti. They don't try not to. I don't know. I don't get it. But let's get into this. So I'm gonna explain this one time. This is about what happened at one night only at our bar on Edgewood with myself and Ti. Ti came to the show. It's about over anyway. It's an open mic. He comes. He does like 30 minutes. Now, after he gets off stage, I'm going to the next shit. I'm hosting. I'm talking about marriage and shit. He keeps cutting me off, telling me to shut the fuck up, calling me all kind of bitches, heckling me. So I'm like, all right, come on, stop playing with me. Like, it's crazy. You keep going and I can't say nothing to you. He then starts yelling about how I need to take my wig off multiple times. Take your wig off right now. Cutting me off. Take your wig off right now. Because a lot of y'all are saying I took a cheap shot. This nigga was literally going on and on harassing me. I don't know why my eyes turn hazel. That shit is really ugly. But anyway, I said, I'll take my wig off when you speak on the allegations. Nobody was tight except for him. Nobody was trying to, nobody ever called him a rapist. I responded to him telling me in a room full of people to rip my wig off and made a joke just like he did. So if you got a problem with it, not mine. All right, there we go. First of all, I don't know. I don't know why he's heckling anybody. That's just ridiculous. Yeah. What she said was kind of, I don't know. I guess the charges got dropped or whatever, but like. What she said was kind of reasonable. If she's on stage doing her shit, right. and then he's just gonna continuously heckling her for whatever reason. Yeah, that's definitely reasonable. You're at a comedy show. I mean, like I hate to say it, but people bring out the worst uh, part Absolutely. to poke at. Yeah. Absolutely. I think that it maybe was a, that could have been a sensitive thing for T.I. being that his family, well, him and his wife was in the spotlight for that, you know. Yeah. Or something that could have been true, could have not been true. So the part when he was like, you know, about me and my family, that was that's sensitive, you know, because yeah. what if it's not true? You know, y'all saying this and making it a joke and it's really not funny. But then to disrespect her as a woman and you came and did 30 minutes at her event that she's hosting. Yeah. You know, it's one of them things where it's like. At a spot where you know, most people get five, ten minutes most. And maybe. you did 30 minutes. Right. And they did that probably out of respect of you because, you know, they fought with T.I. They needed T.I. You yeah. know, it, was, it wasn't an event like that. So, I think that, I don't know. Yeah, you got a good point. But the thing is, with that, she wouldn't have been able to say that if he wasn't heckling her. Right. right. So, That's he kind of right. he kind of brought it on himself. So, yeah. like, whatever she say in regards to what you doing, you brought everything that happens from that point on to on yourself yeah. so it's just yeah. like one of them situations where you just gotta like if she said if you poking at like i mean you could say that you know telling her to take the wig off was just as sensitive a, a, a subject yeah. for her Absolutely. as as but to disrespect a woman that's never oh yeah, yeah. Fuck okay her. that's actually lame um let's get to to him getting booed in 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 brooklyn all right so and then booed again 
about ago, he was about 10, 11 years old, man. I think this is where the animosity started. The nigga walks in, caught me slamming his mom. You hear me? Nailing his mom. We ain't been the same since. Yo. Yo. Look at that. I'm going to tell y'all motherfucking ass like this. I got, you got one more motherfucking album out of me. It's called Kill the King for motherfuckers like you. And I appreciate y'all because you make me the absolute best, nigga. New York has made me the motherfucking best, nigga. I appreciate you. Stay See, this shit show like a, 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 a lack of character, like, it's, it's, it's crazy that he feels so entitled to say that to a room full of people after telling a, a vulgar joke that doesn't, like, that shit was not funny. It was a joke. I didn't hear the joke. And I, whatever it was, it was based on him nailing his mom, railing his mom. What? Yeah, that was that's what he was saying when he when when the clip starts, he walked in on me railing his mom. I mean, nailing his mom, whatever. <laughs> whatever nah, you got yeah, you got clear that. I thought you were talking about his mom. No, uh, I thought you was all right. The, 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 the kid, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, I got you. And it's like, yo, like that's not. First of all, that's, that's white humor. <laughs> First of all, he's he's doing comedy for like too many motherfuckers anyway. Like that's yeah, you can't go from doing a thirty minutes in a little ass club to like doing comedy to so, like fifty well, thousand people. Yeah, you're right. And also this this here's the lineup. This lineup, for this lineup shit. is crazy. This the crazy. This shit. Like, Simone is actually funny. You seen her? I haven't seen her, but I've seen like. Uh, I ain't gonna slander content. B Simone. I like B Simone. <laughs> I like B Simone too. Nick Cannon is funny. I think yeah. Nick Cannon is hey. funny. She what? Yeah, watch your mouth. <laughs> All right, so this look like barbershop four. Yeah, this shit look poor as fuck. Yeah, it does. Ha ha, Davis look. <laughs> some, some I don't even know them other people. Some cracker. Well, Bruce Bruce is a legend. Oh, Bruce Bruce is. I I I I pay just to see Bruce Bruce. All right, so we got Bruce Bruce. Hold on, Joe. This the nigga in Chicago from Poetic Justice. I ain't even know that nigga even do comedy. Is that right. money back? It's yeah. money back, yo. That nigga better not be on stage telling jokes, bro. Maybe he performing. Uh, and I thought the same thing. Look, him. Nigga, money back, yo, doing Waukesha comedy. All right. He got What's some, in this cup? <laughs> he got some random cracker. I don't know who this is. <laughs> Tony Roberts. Yeah, this show is pretty bad. Yeah. And then T.I. Nick, Nick Cannon on it, though. Nick Cannon is on I it. I think though. Nick Cannon was just hosting it, I guess. Oh no, it's hosted by Nick Cannon does comedy? Uh, yeah, yeah, Nick Cannon do comedy. Yeah, Nick you Cannon like got it? a comedy special. Do, 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 do I like it? Yeah. No. I mean, I didn't I, let me say this. Let me say this. I wasn't and I didn't laugh enough. I think Nick Cannon is pretty funny. He'll make it. Like he he laughed. I remember the Dave Chappelle skit. Nick Cannon's hilarious, Dad. Yeah. That's yeah. what I thought of. But he's yeah. laughable. Yeah, he's definitely that. No, so what? I'm so y'all ever, y'all ever seen Haha Davis comedy? What does he do? I've never heard of him. I know he do skits. You never heard of him? Never heard of him. He do the little he do little skits. You like big fella. <laughs> you like fella. <laughs> yeah, he yeah he's like an IG nigga, and a, a little Kim does stand up. I think them people are performing. Okay, no so they're just performing. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got yeah. You. Either way, this looks like some bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, this looks like I wouldn't even fuck with this, to be honest. Yeah. So yeah, moral of the story, T.I., man, I don't know. T.I., he's just going. Do you think it's going to fuck up his music legacy? Uh, Yes, Uh, Definitely. Definitely, because right now, like the way that he treated those fans, I think that um, it'll reflect poorly on his next album. Like we'll notice a dip in. First of all, I'm not listening to a Ti album anyway. I'm talking about his past legacy. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah, because I think a lot of things are starting to affect that legacy. 
you don't hear him talked about in the same vein anymore you hear other people start to be mentioned more or to take the place of that mm. like have you ever heard this uh ti in someone's top five one mention yeah not anymore i know he was consistent he was starting to get laughed at a little bit because he was doing like the verses and shit, and he was kind of like begging to get on there mm-hmm and like nobody wanted to do do a versus with him, and now he's doing a comedy, and then like he's just making a fool out of himself. So, Basically, yeah. I don't know. They couldn't even respect him because on the on the flyer they got him with his hair cut. They, they, ain't, even, they ain't even put the picture in with the dreads now, so hey. oh, they don't even respect him. Put an updated picture. <laughs> they say I don't want that. And look. B Simone cut her hair too. Yeah, she cut a half for her sister. Yeah. Oh, you already know I'm tired. Then B Simone, if you're listening, I love you. I love you too, sis. Man, if I'm <laughs> shivering on camera, man, it's because it's cold in here. And you drinking a cold ass power. Right. Let's get into real yeah. niggas a week. They need to ask me <laughs> and get up out of here. Might have to suggest Joe for mine. All right. All right. So, heavens with the real niggas a week, it's just pretty much just like shout outs and stuff. Okay. They need to ask me to somebody that did, anybody, did anything weird to you or. Uh, weird to me? Yeah, or any anything that you, any anyone that you notice need they ask me. Uh, hypothetically oh, speaking, up. Uh, hypothetically, <clears throat> we ain't got one. They ain't got one. So you'll hear some of the vibe, and then you know we can kind of roll from there. Okay. All right, Joe, you go first since you got yours first. All right. Uh, you want to pull it up? Uh, All right. First, you got Eddie. Oh yeah, man. Um, so Eddie Castro is uh, definitely my 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 first real nigga of the week. Uh, big shout out to him for his event. And this his is it right event. here. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, I didn't, I didn't put anything in. So in the in the post clip, we'll have to add some pictures and such from his event. But um, yeah, again, big shout out to Eddie, um, and everything that he's done. Justin in here with us, man. I feel like y'all are influencing, you know, a lot in the city. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely want to shout y'all out. Um, again, congratulations on on, on the exhibit. Uh, what was the name of it again? Yeah, I ain't want to mess it up. So <laughs> forgive me there. What was the subject of the exhibit? It was his uh, port- yeah, oh, okay. his home in Puerto Rico. Uh, for those of y'all that didn't hear Justin, but um, yeah, big shout out to him. Yeah. Uh, next up, what is this? I got two Puerto Ricans. Man, if you don't crop these <laughs> videos, man, <laughs> god damn, hold on. Yeah, damn, that bit long as a limousine. <laughs> Nigga, crop this <laughs> shit. Terrifying close call. New video you'll see on just one station. Two brothers right, what's going on say the they video? were driving when a mom nearly threw her toddler in front of their truck. Kelly what? Kennedy joining us live, and Kelly, you a spoke to the brothers. Yeah, so. Interested yeah. to hear what they have to say. But first off, is the boy okay? They yeah, Tiffany and Chris, and that's the right most now. important thing, right? I'm told that this child was okay. He wasn't hurt. He's now safe with his grandmother. These two brothers tell me they're just grateful they were in the right place at the right time, and that they were paying attention. Thank God Thank that it was happy ending. Set up a side and you know, ain't no teddy bears right here, no flowers. It's cool. You know, little little boy with his grandmother. Cleveland brothers Lavelle Penson and Anthony Brown were working on Wednesday in their beer delivery truck. Coming down this way, we're coming south. And she was in the middle of the street. They were driving down Quincy Avenue near East 55th Street when they saw them. As we driving down, we see like a lady almost like at an angle position herself like she's about to throw the little boy in front of the truck so penson stopped the truck and brown jumped out that's when penson started recording this video she began to like wrestle with him choke him whatever and i'm like touching with him i managed to get him away from him you know talk to him hey it's gonna be all right he's crying like, uh, yo most people would right. know oh, brown says he then took the child yeah, to a security guard at alfred right. a so bennis school on the corner before police arrived CMHA yeah, police acknowledge the incident happened. Look at how he fought to get that boy. Like, like, yeah. It's he shocking, man. It, it would have messed crazy. my life up, you know, if I would have took that little boy life. How grateful are you that you were there, that you were able to intervene and stop this before the kid got hurt? Um, God put me there. I ain't, I ain't did nothing special. I'm just happy that 
he put me there and I acted on it. I would want somebody to do the same for my daughter if something like that was going on. So, so what happened with the mom? She need to be in jail or yeah, the crazy place. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm assuming she crazy as hell doing trying to throw her kid out in the street. Yeah. Wow. So this was yours too? Nah. Oh, this is mine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sugar oh, free. He got verse of the year, man. You don't remember, yo. I'll be okay. forgetting, man. I played this for you, but go ahead. I don't think you did. Yeah. I'm messing with you. <laughs> so everybody's saying J. Cole got verse of the year. Someone said Nah, Jay-Z. Sugar Freak murdered Sugar this Freak got verse. verse of the year. <laughs> Eric had me laughing. He said a bunch of people was like at no saying, "Hey, why this old ass nigga rapping like you?" Yeah, he's old. <laughs> <laughs> he old. That's funny. <laughs> that's your only response. He old. He, old. Yeah, he is old. He's he a legend. Yeah, that's a legend. Though. Old man with verse of the year. Yeah, what would J Cole yeah. talk about? They need you. Got a real nigga? Anybody want to shout out? Who you want to shout out? Um, or somebody. I want to shout out. It could be like anybody. 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 Could it be myself? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I want to shout good. out. I be saying myself for real, yeah. for real, nigga. He be hating on it. Yeah. I be hating on him also when he be submitting himself. Yeah, I was going to say. Don't hate on me. Don't hate on me. Don't hate on me. I won't hate on you. I want to shout out myself. Go ahead. I'm just proud of me. There you go. Give a round of applause. Uh, if we had that, uh, I'm so proud of you, queued up. You know what I'm that saying? Was, that was, that was, I start to, I start to hit the notes for you. You know what I'm saying? But he be he, uh, he just mentioned him hating, so I ain't want to get him started. Let's submit the cameraman Justin. Salute to him. He gets yeah, some footage for, us. for sure. Holding it down for us, man. Justin definitely another real nigga of the week. Yeah. They need to ask me. I don't think I got nothing. This for you, Joe? Yeah, man. So today I stumbled across a tweet that said, yo, I didn't know pillow fighting leagues exist. Sign me up, right? Mm -hmm. So then I was like, well, I've never heard of this. This is interesting. Let me check it out, right? If you play the video... Imagine going home and telling someone you do this professionally. I'd be so tired. I'd be trying to defend why I'm swinging like that. Like, I'd be tired. I get, like, tired quick. Like, nah, it's a technique. You understand? Like, it ain't that, you know what I mean? It ain't that my wrist broke. It's just... Now, this next one... Yeah, nah, I couldn't imagine trying to be in a damn pillow fighting league. Uh, this next one is um, Gronkowski. <laughs> he might need a bit, he might have needed his ass beat. <laughs> I ain't watched the New Year's uh celebration on twenty twenty. Shit, old as fuck. But check this out. All right, Steve Harvey had a Lego piece of his name made. Oh, I see the. <laughs> <laughs> Why would he do that? <laughs> he kicked that bitch to pieces. He fucking should have beat it. What is wrong with you? Steve Harvey should have beat his ass. This nut right here. He's about <laughs> this nut right here. <laughs> you, know, you know how hard it is to get them proud Legos? Just stupid. After the break. Yeah, Steve Harvey want to beat his ass. All right, yeah, this all right, this mine right here. This lady, she was uh, wilding on the plane. Oh yeah, so that's yeah, yeah. A, this her draws. Nah, nah, nah. This here, Man, this here. Insane. Nah, somebody need to arrest you. Oh. 
I almost threw up. Like, why you smelling your drawers like that? Why you washing them in that little ass cup? <laughs> like, what is so bad? Yeah, it ain't none. It ain't she none. It That's why she smelling them. She like, man, I wanted it. Oh, my. God, I man. couldn't have been oh. able to hold no laugh. Oh, I would have been laughing God. so uncontrollably. Yeah, she would have actually got, got cussed out, to be honest. I was hungry a second ago. All right, that's mine. Oh, my God. That's crazy. The rest of these can wait till next week. <laughs> you got anybody that need to ass feet? A lot of people. Don't submit yourself. <laughs> that would be, be crazy. Not myself. Not myself. <laughs> Not myself. All right, so that's everything. It's been another episode of Random Master Podcast, haven't we? Appreciate you pulling up. Definitely. I all your stuff. I appreciate y'all. Let the people know where they can find you. Instagram, Heaven's World one on one. Yeah, that's the Instagram right there. That's the one. Yeah. That's the one. So ladies, y'all <laughs> go tap in with the lingerie. Fellas, if y'all wanna put your girl on game, you know, see her. if y'all wanna come out your pocket for your girl, you know, and see her in something nice, because that's what's gonna happen essentially. I agree. Fellas. And that's the way to do it because women ain't buying their own lingerie for you. Yeah, fellas. I hate to say it. Fellas. Hashtag fellas. Go cop yourself. Don't cop yourself, actually. Unless you went to that. Unless you went to that. If you went to that, that's different. Bitch, you ain't going to get no extra points if you don't move. All right. That ain't the one I meant to hit, but it worked. Hey, you into that. Go ahead. But yeah, fellas. Cop your lady something. Don't be Definitely. cheap. Yeah, don't, don't be cheap. Don't be cheap. Go ahead and get you the three piece set. Get you the robe. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Use that promo code REOP for zero percent off. Yeah. Pay yeah. that full price. Yeah. Yeah. With all that said, we out.